Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here filming my August favorites. So if you guys want to see what those products were, then keep on watching. So we're officially settled into my new room and I will be sure to link my room tour up here if you haven't already checked it out. I think this is going to be the setup. I'm kind of digging it. There's little bits of it that are like, you know, very posh and prim and proper. And then there's like skulls and stuff everywhere. Like, I don't know if that's something that's ever really come across in my videos. I have a little bit of a, uh, I don't want to say darker side because I don't think that's the right terminology. It's a perfect blend of what I am as a person. August, very weird month, very busy month, very tiring month. I know the last couple months have been rocky. They've been... Do you see? He's getting buck wild over there. It is not fair for me to make a favorites video this month because realistically, I lived out of boxes for the first two-ish weeks of the month. When I say that I packed up everything besides like a bag of clothes to live out of for a week and my phone and my laptop that's not an exaggeration let's go ahead and talk about some of the products and i think the first one is we might as well just get the weird ones out of the way first i feel like it is so dang hard to find towels that are small enough that they're not like a bath sheet and they're not massive and they don't like weigh your head down but it's also bigger than a hand towel because your girl's got a lot of hair. It has been impossible. And I remember my mom and I went on a quest to go and find appropriate hair towels. I don't know why I didn't think of joining the bandwagon then. And maybe it's just because I have my own bathroom now that I bought my own towel set. I don't remember the brand name of it, but I know it was like in their college section. So like for kids who are going off to college in dorm rooms. So these are the towel turbans and I it came in a two pack and I think they were $10. They're like a microfiber material. And honestly, I don't know why I never joined the towel turban gang before. This is the the most simple yet most effective thing ever. And this is when I know I've become an adult because it's things like this that get me excited. Wait until you see another favorite in this video because you're gonna be like, damn, she's old. <laughs> really dries my hair quicker. And granted, I don't leave my hair in a towel long enough that like it's gonna have to dry. But literally just to like pop this thing over my head and like tie it up and like stick it it honestly i don't understand why i've never used it before i'm definitely impressed with those not maybe necessarily that particular brand but just in general like the concept of it was fantastic this one is kind of a two for one and maybe it's not necessarily the products i'm using but it's the method I see these girls with these big full luscious lips and i'm like dang i want those it's not something that i feel that my lips are so weirdly proportioned or like that i would need something that's like brat doll lips how can i do that to without the needles <laughs> a couple months ago i made the laneige lip mask one of my favorites and i still have been using that almost every night so in the morning, what I will do when I'm getting ready is I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, and I will go in using a lip scrub. So I've been using the Lush Cosmetics Mint Julep. It's one of my all-time favorites. Prior to putting foundation or primer on, I will go in with the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. It will help hydrate my lips and will also kind of like get it ready for when I'm ready to do whatever lip color I do for the day. It doesn't give me insane tingle, which is what I really like about this. It's tingling enough that you can feel that it's doing something. My lips have been feeling much better. They feel a little bit more kissable. Not that I'm kissing anybody. Using the Laneige Lip Mask helps too, just to kind of keep everything a little bit more you know, I don't know what means, but you know what I mean. The next product has always been a favorite of mine, but I just never have given it its moment in a favorites video. The Maybelline Cheeky uh, Blush, and this is in shade number 15, which is Nude Burn. I got this in an influencer box a while ago. I am not a huge blush person at all. My skin is naturally pretty pink and rosy that I try to negate it as much as I can. So putting blush on is like a no-go for me. This is the only one that I like that doesn't make it look too like, I don't, I don't know, Mrs. Doubtfire. It blends out super nice. It gives my skin just a really nice like, you see that slide on my hand? It's the one thing that gives my skin just a really nice like flushed look without looking too clownish. If you guys recall in my room tour, I talked about the owl. <laughs> I didn't realize how high that was. 
There's that little thing up in the corner, which is my skull with a crown. Is probably one of my favorite things of the month. Watch the room tour, and in the bathroom, there was a sign that was hanging above the towel bar. And I said I hated it, wanted to get rid of it, but the one that I wanted, it sold out. Well, actually, I was able to get the the real canvas of what I wanted. I didn't have to settle. I got what I wanted, which just goes to show it is so worth being patient because you will get the things you want in life most of the time. And by proactively searching the Michaels homepage to see whenever they were going to restock it or taking the option of driving 200 miles to Poughkeepsie and buying it that way too. It was an option. It was honestly an option at that point. <laughs> canvas in my bathroom is obviously a favorite and this is when I know I'm becoming an adult. When things like home decor and like spooky things like that excite me, it's when I know I'm in trouble. I was just really shopping for things that made a house feel like a home. And that leads me to my intangible item, which would be the move and settling in and the new house itself. It's not really intangible because it's a thing, but you know what I'm getting at here. Rigmarole of how everything went down, how quickly you had to like, you you didn't get a chance to think about anything, which I think really helped. I think if I sat there and I dwelled about all these things, I think I probably wouldn't have gotten to where I am. I could have really like been a negative Nancy about having to declutter and, and I didn't. And I think like that is the intangible. It's just how quickly I was able to adapt and how quickly I was able to just accept it for what it was and then move on from it. It's been such a whirlwind. And I've been saying that a lot in these favorite videos for 2020. Everything's a whirlwind, everything, but literally, like most people don't move in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> like most people don't break up in the middle of a pandemic. And most people don't have to have these conversations with themselves about who's supposed to be in their life and who's not supposed to be in their life. And most people don't have these thoughts or these topics that they have to talk about. And I did. A snapshot, the ability to accept and I don't want to say move on because moving on, you know, it, it's very definite and it closes a chapter in a book. And it's not necessarily like, you know, it ends and it's over and it's so sad. Like, it's honestly refreshing. Like, it's so it's so great to be able to sit here and be like, okay, like, I did it. Before, I think I was the kind of person that I would dwell on it. I would be sad. I would wonder what did I do wrong? And then like, I realized with, I think, this sense of self-worth that if you don't like me, that's not my problem. Like, I know the person that I am and I know who I am at the end of the day. I've never sugarcoated anything. I've never been somebody that I've never said that I was or I've never faked it. Um, I've been genuine. I've been honest and true about everything. I'm ready to close the chapter and be done with it and just move forward and not sit there and be like, oh, I wonder what could have been. No, like, we're not doing that. We're, we're past that. And the train is trugging along and you better get on board. Those were my favorite products this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like my videos and if you like my content and if, and if you like me, feel free to subscribe by hitting the button down below and getting notified when I post new videos. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And it's like that, I'm like, when I'm feeling good. I don't actually know that's how it goes, but you know where I'm getting at. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm feeling recharged. And I'm just like, all right, let's do it. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. I will be sure to list all my favorite products down below, as well as the blog post where you can find all the items over at sarahlock.com, two H's, two K's. And also be sure to list all my social media profiles down below too, so you can follow me wherever I might be. Thinking September is going to just be a good month. You know, things are going in the right direction. Things are good. Miss Sarah's back out getting on her dating game and like she's feeling good about herself. She's been indulging more in like self care, which resulted in just me jamming out to Hollywood Undead this morning, hence why we ended up with this. The best time of year is right around the corner with fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of it. I feel like we're getting over the hurdle of 2020 of like the storm that was all prior. And I'm feeling like it's just, it's like something good's got to give, right? Like I'm all about manifestation. And if you followed me on Snapchat, you might recall this. It's a little bit of a story time for you. I don't like how high these chairs are. <laughs> well, as if 2020 couldn't get any worse, that was a mirror that was there that fell and shattered.
So do I just uh, call it quits now or like seriously, how, how is this my luck? Like, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Take care. Love you always. Stay safe. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm going to fall forward. This is the embarrassing part of me trying to get out of this chair because it's never, it's never graceful. Let's put it that way. Oh God. Okay. Heave hope. It's not often that I use the Woodwick candles, but Amanda made me buy some because she bought some and I was kind of having FOMO, so that's why I bought some. I'm like a little kid whose feet don't touch the floor. <laughs> Favorite uh, house got pro that <laughs> in shade. <laughs> house if I read it in English. Next product is has. This is too hot. <laughs> this needs to get off my body yesterday. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time today. Prior to even putting on foundation, foundation have, I was a huge inhale. <laughs> that candle is going to make me nervous the whole time I'm filming. Whoa!